So Sasuke is a shitty dad, Sakura is pathetic as ever, and somebody called Mori up in this bitch. So after a while of waiting, we finally got the first chapter of the spinoff of Naruto, Naruto 700 plus 1, which is a weird way to do it, but whatever the case may be. So some of the standout things of this chapter, definitely for starters. I mean, it was called Sarada Uchiha, so you come into this expecting that it's going to be mainly based on her, like this first chapter at the very least, and honestly... As of right now, with this first chapter, she is the whole reason, to be honest with you anyway, that I have a lot of interest in this. Because Boruto, to be honest with you, I'm glad it wasn't called Boruto, this little spinoff. Because as of right now, his problems and the character himself seems like a mixture of little Naruto and Konohamaru. Remember, Konohamaru had the problems of, like, you know, he wanted his grandfather to pay him more attention. And he wanted to get respect because, like, nobody would pay him attention. And then, of course, Naruto being the troublemaker and, you know, painting the town red so to speak that's definitely what Boruto is and while you know it's funny and it's kind of nostalgic to see that ultimately it's ground that we've covered already and honestly his problems just don't seem that grand compared to like Sada that like for starters the shit that she found out in this chapter about you know her mom not really possibly being her actual mom and then finding out about her piece of shit father like honestly Sasuke I hope you have a very good reason, like some Itachi good reason, for why you've never once visited your daughter. Like, do you not know that you have a daughter, or what the, f like, seriously, you've never once visited? So, definitely that makes me question what's going on with Sasuke, and honestly, I hope, if it's not explained in this mini manga series, then at the very least in the Boruto movie, we get an explanation as to what's going on with him. Obviously, that's his daughter. Her name is Sarada Uchiha, and we'll probably see her activate the Sharingan, hopefully, at some given point in this series, if not in the series, and definitely in the movie, but definitely a lot of questions come about. Like, for starters, okay, what the hell happened to Taka? Because in this photo, is like, you know, the last photo they got of the group, and I don't know if that was just something they took before they left Konoha, whatever the case may be, but definitely a lot of questions come about what happened to Kadeem. Maybe Kadeem died, and one day Sasuke came back on some Game of Thrones, Net Art Stark shit, and was like, hey, bitch, raise this girl since you love my dick so much, and yeah, you can pretend she's your daughter, right? That's what you want? Like, that's the only thing I could think of if that's truly not her mom, and honestly, like, it makes me to a certain degree, it's so bad that I feel bad for Sakura, as much as, like, everything that she's done, you know, pretending to like Naruto, all the shit that she's done that made me just really despise the character, but if you're that desperate that you will pretend that you married Sasuke, take care of his daughter as your own, and pretend that that's your daughter, just because you want that connection so bad, that is horrible, I'm sorry, I, and I, I, I can only feel bad at this particular point for the character, if she would stoop that low, just so she can be next to her Sasuke-kun. Seems as though possibly this manga is going to span over the week of the Academy graduation. And again, like I've been guessing, it's probably going to connect with the movie. So maybe, like, they'll graduate at the end of this manga and become, you know, full-on shinobi. And then eventually, during the movie, we'll have some sort of tuning exam. So they could try to go from getting to tuning. So I'm guessing that that's what's going to be the setting of everything. And, you know, the timeline, so to speak, of the remainder of this manga. Now, we got that kid with the white hair that kind of looked like Tonetti Otsutsuki from the last Naruto the movie. I don't know what's going to happen with him, but I'm guessing that he might be the third member because I actually put up a poll, and I'll talk more about that later on, like a anime amino where I was discussing, like, who should be the third person if we're going to have the next Team 7 with Sarada and Boruto, and prior to this, I didn't even know that this kid existed, so looking at this kid, for starters, he kind of looks like Tonetti, but then at the same time, he has that those eyes and that kind of skin that reminds me of Orochimaru. I don't know. Maybe Orochimaru's still lurking around. He took the body of a kid. I don't know, but definitely that kid intrigues me. And that could be a setup for, like, you know, the next big thing or the big rivalry, so to speak. Even though, technically, it's been hinted that Boruto and Sarada are going to be rivals. But we'll see how that goes. And honestly, a lot of this chapter, it was rightfully so named Sarada Uchiha. Because throughout the chapter, you see her envying people that have their father. And that makes me wonder... Okay, yeah, definitely, regardless of what, when you're missing one parent, you're going to want that other parent. You're going to be looking for that affection and that bond when you see everyone else with that parent. But when she's there, like, where's Sakura and all this? And that kind of makes me wonder as well, with Boruto's loneliness, where's Himawari and where's Hinata? Where's his mom and his sister? And don't get me wrong, it's not like you're going to be able to fill the void of a father with your mom and your sister, because that just doesn't work that way, especially with a young man. But... 
he looks like he's so lonely, but he has a sister, and he has his mom, and he also has friends, he's not an outcast, so it makes me wonder, like, why does he feel this way, is it just really that he wants his father, and I gotta give props to Naruto, because at the end of chapter 700, I was thinking, like, damn, you're neglecting, you're kidding, you're kind of being like that, even though he's going through some of the similar pains that you went through as a child, but he's actually trying, like, he's actually making shadow clones of himself, so that at the very least, he can play with his kid, and mess around with his kid while he's still doing his work, but at the same time, it kind of, again, this is why I'm not, like, the biggest Boruto fan at the moment, anyway, because, like, his father's at the very least trying to be there for him, even if it's not completely him, but he's trying, and I think, to a certain degree, I can sympathize, yeah, you want your real father, you don't want just a clone of him, but, I don't know, I just, I gotta give some props to Naruto that he's trying to do his job, his long, lifelong dream, but then also be with his kid. And another thing, if Sarada is indeed Karin's daughter, then she is going to be OP as fuck, because she's gonna be Uchiha and Uzumaki, which right there, those two bloodlines, bada bing, bada boom, bada bam, she is gonna be OP as fuck and strong as shit, and honestly, I'm hoping if it's not again in this manga, it can be at the very least in the movie that she activates the shining gun, because that'll be epic as shit, and I'm looking forward to, like, as of right now, the big thing that's driving me with this manga definitely is Sarada's past, what's going on, what happened to Taka, is Kari indeed her mother, and why would Sakura go this low just for affection, and at the same time, Sasuke never loved that bitch, because if you think about it, he gave the little peck on the forehead, which is technically how him and his brother showed people that he cared about them and they loved them or whatever, so I initially thought eventually he would come back to the village and they would get it on and have a kid, so why did that never occur, what's been going on, definitely a huge mystery, and seeing Sasuke at the end of the chapter was exciting and set up, and honestly, for a first chapter, for a spinoff, very good stuff with keeping up the suspense, the mystery, and keeping a lot of the old characters still somewhat around, but making more interesting new characters, and Sarada right now is definitely number one, my favorite character, out of the new generation so far, because she's just something a little bit different, like, these characters have different perspectives, like, she's questioning, like, kind of similar to what Sasuke was questioning, but even a step further, okay, so what's a ninja, you become a ninja, then what, like, what's next, and it's almost as if, I guess you go a little philosophical with it as well, it's like, okay, you reach happiness, what comes after that, so definitely could be a very deep character, and I'm looking forward to it, honestly, I'd give it an 8 out of 10, very good start, very good with the mysteries and everything, and I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes, I'm just really hoping that Boruto can become a little bit more interesting, and we can get more of his aspirations and stuff, and yeah, he's young, but I mean, Naruto was 12 years old, saying I'm gonna be Hokage and run this bitch one day, and he did it, so you never know, definitely, Boruto, get a little bit more of your own character, and Sarada, keep being interesting, and yeah, we got some good stuff with this to go, let me know what you guys think, first of all, what do you think about Boruto's problems thus far, do you think that he's being a little bit too a spoiled brat, because at the end of the day, Naruto's trying with him, and how do you feel about his character in general, like, do you think he's too much like the original Naruto, or what's up with that, and also, Sarada, as of right now, what do you think, is Karin indeed her mother, is it a coincidence, did Sasuke never really give a shit about Sakura in the end, he never really had a kid with her, what is your stance on Sakura as of right now, is she a desperate for bitch or what and your brought thoughts to the first chapter just good to be back talking about some naruto manga honestly but that's a lot for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed if you could do so as well that'd be amazing i'm from world and as always people have an awesome day